what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope that you guys had a wonderful day today it's beautiful sunday yes so i'm here today with another video today i'm going to be doing my second um salon haul story i did one before you can check that out as well it's it's my second hair salon haul story and this one took place a few years ago but it's still vivid in my mind. I could remember the pain that I felt and I could remember it, it like if it was yesterday. So it was in December 2014 I decided to go to the hairdresser to get my hair done. It was a special occasion. It was my first time going to a staff party. My work, my workplace, the place that I work, staff party. So I was, you know, say it's not an ordinary day so I'm going to go get some you know special caring to my hair and you know do something different do a weave or so because i don't normally wear weaves and all those things i usually wear just my hair or maybe i'll put on braids for the most so i decided to do something a little extra to look a little special so when i got there the lady i did not make an appointment it i walked in and you know most times we don't really make appointments you know you just walk in and the, you make the appointment the same time so i decided to get my head on so i told her you know i'm here i want to put on a weave but i did not purchase purchase the weave as yet i did purchase the weave but when i showed her the weave she said that wasn't the weave that weave is not the right weave to use for my hair um, I think that she said that the, I think I bought a pack or so and she said that it would not be enough. So I went back and exchanged it here to get another type of weave to put on. So that same day, I went back to the store that I bought the hair and I got another um, set of hair extension that only one pack I needed to do my hair. So I went back there and um, one of the young lady braided up my hair using some braids some synthetic hair braids she plaited my hair with braids in corner and then i knew it was a bit it felt a little bit tight but it wasn't that tight so i sat there and then the other young lady so one plaited my hair and the other one um had to sew on the weave so i guess the girl that did the plait, she was training. She was only a trainee at that time, so they did not make her really do, you know, do the weaving or so that she was training. Um, so then I sat down, you know, well, I'm, I'm feeling good, you know, that I'm getting my hair done and so. And that same day I had to go purchase a dress to wear for the staff party because the staff party was the same day. So I'm there and I'm happy because everything is going quickly and, you know, I will get enough time to get my hair done and everything. Then, the young lady treaded the needle so and so and she started to sew on the weave. But I'm feeling the tension in which she's sewing it on. But I'm not really feeling the pain. So I'm okay, you know, she's maybe um, a person that likes things done properly and she wants it done tight enough so that it will last so i'm sitting there and i feel like the needle so she started to um sew on the weave in my hair the first time she sewed it on it was very i kind of felt it was tight but i did not feel the true tightness of the hair so i said okay um i'll be okay you know because usually putting on weave sometimes it can be a bit tight when you just put in it in. so i said okay in the time she's finished i'm gonna feel okay and everything's gonna be all right so now when she reached halfway through the hair at the top of my head now i started to feel like a pinching feeling on the top there so i said okay i'm gonna be okay it's gonna be all right the time she's finished everything's gonna settle in you know so the time she finished now, I kind of felt like my eyes pull a little bit more. <laughs> pull a bit more. My eyes is not done small already. I feel my eyes be stretching like this. Just on my face look. 
stretching out like this. So I said, wait, now, nah, Lord Jesus, what did I just do? So I feel my head feeling a bit light, like I was walking on air, got up. I did what I had to do. They're like, oh, your face looks so different. You look like a different person. So I'm like, okay, she didn't compliment. You look so nice, you know. And I left there feeling all confident and thing. But it's when now I'm getting ready to go see if I find a dress for the event. The headache and the lightness and everything just started to peek in at that same time. So I'm walking and I'm feeling myself drifting. <laughs> and I'm feeling like I'm going to feel dark. When I say, Lord, well, Lord, this thing going to kill me. But as, so, as I'm so embarrassed now, I say, Lord Jesus, I can't go back and tell the lady to take all the money. You don't make sense, girl. I already spend money for it already. I say, Lord, I have to bear it. So I went in one of the teller machine to get some money. When I got there, it's like the pain got, it went from 10 to about a thousand, not even a hundred percent, a thousand. So I'm there, I'm saying, I'm going to die on my neck stiff in the back because, because of the tightness, my head on fire, the hair feel my head itself felt like it was on fire. I said, no, Lord, I'm dead this evening. So then now I decided I couldn't even, I wasn't even able to go to get the dress. It didn't make any sense. All I could think about was to go on the terminal where we usually go to get transportation to go home. To get a bus to go home. Before I went to the terminal, now I said, "Lord, better I get some um, pain relief." So I went to the supermarket and I got some Panadol, some you know pain relief Panadol. I can't remember what it was. It was Panadol or Paracetamol, you know, one of those. And I, Lord, and I decided to buy a bottle of water and I took it. But I'm there now and I'm still in a lot of pain. There was this gentleman that was talking to me. He said, "You look strange. What's wrong with you?" And I'm there and I can't even speak to him because I'm in so much pain. When I got home, the only thing I could think of was my bed to lie down, to revive myself. Because the amount of pain that I was in, it's not easy. It's not an easy pain. It may seem simple, but <laughs> trust me, a tight weave can actually kill you. Well, after lying down for a few hours, I felt a bit better. But now I'm really disappointed because I did not even get a dress for the event. So now I have to call my big sister now to purchase a dress for me for the staff party. That was a really hard one. That's why now I usually do my hair at home. And from this experience, I found one person that I, you know, go to most of the times because um, other persons, they deal with persons here they are hairdressers and they do persons here and they do not take they do not ask or they do not they do not take their time or they don't be careful with the way that they manage persons here they don't look at your hair type they don't ask you you know is this okay is that okay they mo most times some of them do what they want to do 